Marshawn spins around. Derek Ryan takes it away, gives it away to Bergeron. Pasternak with Marshawn. David Pasternak short pass and found the short side opening. Well, Marshawn tried to make a play in the neutral zone. That didn't materialize. And then on the counterattack by Edmonton, it's not a very good pass by Ryan. That turns the puck right back over to Boston. Bergeron with a nice little saucer pass right on the tape of David Pasternak, and that allows him to maintain a certain level of speed. He gets in right up by the dot. Coyle to Pasternak. Ristolainen got a piece. Jakob Zaborl into the slot. Pasternak scores! That is close to a dagger. David Pasternak with poise, with the puck on his stick, waited for Martin Jones to open up. Well, the Bruins take advantage of the turnover by Flies in the four-on-four -four situation. Coyle never really puts that puck in a shooting spot, so the Flies are able to defend the pass across, looking for Pasternak. But then, nice poise by the Bruins. Jakob Zaboral just kind of hangs around, slides back. Pasternak's bomb blocked. Pasternak back to McAvoy, to Marshawn, to Bergeron. The shot muffled. Marshawn, a stick handle the move. Pasternak scores! Back door! Interchangeable. The one time by Pasternak's block, puck retrieval. They try to make the play to Bergeron, that misfires, but the puck retrieval again. How about that little curl and drag right there by Marshawn? And then he finds Pasadok on the weak side, but he's got to have a strong stick. He's got to finish the play through the check of Dickinson, and he's able to do it strong enough to slide it in. Oh, what a great play. Hall to Pasternak in the corner, back to Coyle, down to a knee. Taps to McAvoy, 10 seconds to go in the five on three. Hall closes, Pasternak scores! Hall short pass to Bergeron. He changed the geometry and opened the seam for Pasternak's bullet. It's time. You gotta love the way the Bruins attacked on the five on three. They had a shot mentality. They gave all kinds of different looks, but they put pucks on goal, and they were quality scoring chances. They were looking for Pasenak as often as they possibly could because he's your best finisher. And a nice pass by Hall by attacking the net, changing the angle, as you point out, Jack. Yarosh gets tagged by Halla. Hall's shot bounces off to the corner. Pasternak right in front. He scores! David Pasternak puts the Bruins ahead. And that allows for the first opportunity right there. Win this puck, and he wins it to Hall. The one-timer is disrupted by... Paul on the shot by Jarosz, and then Pasternak went and got the puck himself. If you're going to give me a lane to the net, I'm going to take it. He fights through McLeod. He gets denied with the left pad. Just coincidence, I'm sure. Pasternak along the line. Grizzlick sends it deep. Marshawn back after repairs, and Pasternak pots it with a gorgeous seam pass. That's how you run the five on three. He makes a perfect seam pass for the Pasenak one time. You know, I talk about passing the puck through. And it's the coin that won't get tossed. That's a good play by Coyle. You know, I mean, you don't plan for a turnover there, but he's in a good spot to help out. Good hands by Erho Vakanainen springing Hall on a two on one. Pasenak scores! The Bruins have five unanswered goals. In DC, world class two on one. I mean, this is a bullet of a pass, not easy to handle. It's got a lot on it, and it's a catch and release, and a beautiful right under the crossbar finish by a very gifted goal scorer. Man, you are just you're in trouble if you're a defenseman in that situation with those. 
And there is David Pasternak out there on that second line that has been successful with Herakola and Taylor Hall. A turnover. Pasternak, a wrister. Scores! Right on cue. Line number two. David Pasternak lights the lamp. And the Bruins take the early lead. Look at this funny bounce. This is what happens off the board. You talk about home ice advantage. The Boston Bruins certainly take advantage of that. This, they keep the puck in the zone. Excellent job by Pasternak up high. And then a, a, just an Aaron pass leads to that opportunity. Taylor Hall jumps on it and wide open in front of the net. Oh, and the, the idea of a bad pass, but it is a bad bounce off the board. Well, they had a chance last night. They had played against a Montreal here in this building in third period, game well in hand, and you got the Tuca chance. Pasternak, he's got another! A power play goal for the Bruins. As Pasternak's got two with 14.33 to go in the first period. What a pass. Marchand on the elbow here, typically a shooter. I mean, you, you think he's shooting there if you're Carter Hart, right? Instead, he threads the needle to David Pasternak. And that makes Pasternak wide open, impossible save for Carter Hart. Terrific speed by Marchand. You know, it's interesting. Look at these two guys, Pasternak and Marchand. They're usually on the opposite side. Marchand. Marchand. Out to Pasternak. Wrist shot. Blocked. It's loose. And it carries back up top to McAvoy. Pasternak fires. Score! Throw the hats! That's three for David Pasternak. How about this uh, This job outside? All the Bruins are on top of it. Excellent release there for David Pasternak. They do a good job of coming in and, and making sure that they're getting pucks to the net. And you know what? You look at him. That's 75 power play goals for David Pasternak in his career. With that one, he passes the great Bobby. Wilson moves in. Centers one. This Protoss. And back the other way come the Bruins. Transition through center. Pasternak across the line. Drops one to Hall. Right back to Pasternak, who scores! Just like that, the Bruins answer. Pasternak is able to score his 17th of the season. And we are tied at one. David Pasternak comes with speed through. They don't have numbers. It's two on three here, and then they jump up. What I like about this is Pasternak drops the puck, and then he, he drives the net but opens up. He always knows where the puck is. Watch his head. It's on a swivel. Corrals that puck. Yeah, if you're the Capitals, I mean, a little too soft at the blue line, as you mentioned. Keller finds a trailer. There's a drive by Kuznetsov off the one-time touch feed from Van Riemsdyk. Back the other way. Pasternak moves in on the power play to the forehand. Tucks it. Scores! Pasternak lights the lamp again. And the Bruins have a 2-1 lead. A stanchion and then Matt Grizzlick's able to pick it up in a heads-up play to find David Pasternak and then terrific patience by Pasternak to wait out Vanacek. I think Vanacek gets it on the initial. Marshawn closes, hits Polino. Pasternak bats it off of Stastny's stick. Grizzlick, Pasternak elevates the pass. Marshawn off of Sandberg's skate. Pasternak's bomb scores! Grizzlick on the assist, and the Bruins lead for the first time today. Finally, they get into a situation that they really like, which is the top umbrella. Nice dish by Fat Grizzlick, because it's exactly where Pasternak wants it. Right in between the skates, favoring a little bit on that backside, which allows him a lower shot. And a chance to go far side and get under the glove. Only a Keystone Cops moment between Troy Terry and Trevor Zegras interrupts a chance. No sick to Pasternak. He scores. Anaheim had two players run into each other in the attacking zone. And Boston capitalizes. Makes a nice pass through traffic. Good back check here by Felino. Get the puck in the Pasternak right here. This tape to tape pass allows you entry. Now win a battle. We said the Bruins weren't winning enough battles in the first period. They give up a bad shorthanded goal to fall down 2 0. They've had some looks. They've had some wraparounds. They've had some puck possession. They've had some offensive zone time. And now they got a goal. And it's a great effort by those two in particular. Here's the Bruins in a 0 0 game on a power play halfway through the tilt. Power play goal. Could go a long way winning this hockey game right now. 
Ball to Pasternak, he scores! His 10th power play goal of the season are the most dependent on their power play for their total offense. Well, he just got to love the setup here. It's McAvoy working the blue line. Get to the middle of the ice. You have so many more options at the top of that umbrella. McAvoy tosses it to Marshawn Bergeron to Pasternak. He scores! David Pasternak with two power play goals, both putting Boston ahead. But it's going to find its way into the net. Good keep in by Charlie McAvoy. That's a great read. And then the quickness, the quickness of moving that puck. Bergeron gets rid of it just quick enough. And I don't know if this was a shot, Jack. I really, you'd have to ask David Pass. Ranked second in the league currently. Bergeron turns and fires, and Jari makes the save. Marshawn to Pasternak. He chops it across the zone. Marino indirect. Pasternak scores! Bergeron, the keep in, hold the feed, and Pasternak pots the goal to put the Bruins on top. 2-0-1 into the game. Get into the rhythm of what you want to do, and then it's about puck retrieval when you don't score on your opportunities off the faceoff. Backhand clearing attempt. It was intended to be a pass to Brian Boyle, I believe, by Marino, but it had too much on it, and it allowed the Bruins to get the puck back. And it's a nice re... Fans on the shot. Hall rescues the puck. Gets it back on the boards. Pasternak's bum wins the game for Boston. His first point in five games. Uh, you gotta love this win for Boston. Man, did they need it and to win it in overtime. And for David Pasternak, to end this, I mean, he's been struggling. He's been fighting the puck. He hasn't been himself. In the absence of Brad Marshall, you need Pasenak to be even more of a dis difference maker. He's coming off a spectacular month of January. You want this guy to win you hockey games, and he did here in OT. Smith gets caved in by Helm. McCarr has... The puck skip on him, more than a minute in zone time, and Pasternak scores from McAvoy! Persistence pays off! You know, I don't think anybody on that coil line will figure in this goal. But they're the ones that made it happen. It was a heavy shift by a heavy line. Tremendous work in the offensive zone, protecting pucks, winning board battles. From Rantanen, his 33rd assist and the 33rd for McCarr and the 27th for Pasternak on a board. has raised his game on the faceoff and it's a well executed play that starts with winning the faceoff Taylor Hall lines up on the inside hash he goes down to the bottom of the circle starts arcing up the boards by the crack and in front of their own goal Philip Grubauer third in the Vezina trophies voting and not even Vezina winners can catch up to that Pasternak on the one-timer. The Bruins could probably score some goals, certainly create some real good chances off face-offs. Seattle's not a great face-off team, and that's exactly what happened right here. Clean win by Eric Holla. Well-executed play, and what a look from Charlie McAvoy. Grubauer expecting some kind of shot. Omar, slap pass to Holla. Pasternak bears off the check. Taylor Hall. Pasternak scores! Bam! 3-3! Three, three. And it might have hit Eric Hall standing yep. in front of the net. There's the hit right there in the neutral zone to get it up to Taylor Hall. Nice little spin move. Pasternak oh, wanted yeah. it the whole way. He was calling for it. 
Look at the torque on that stick. It hits Gooley first. Maybe off, uh, was that Carrick? Yep. Here's Pasternak at center. Oh. Two on one. Pasternak's in. Backhand shovel. Right of the save. And the rebound. They score. Well, Vegas got caught. Are they going to argue that he pushed the puck in through his pads there? I was just saying earlier, Pasternak took a hard hit by White Cloud. Thought he might have been banged up a little bit. But I guess not because he came back and scored a beautiful goal here. I mean, that was three scoring chances for Boston. Three shifts in a row. A two and one shift. I mean, it's a one goal game. Knights got caught cheating a little bit, blown the zone early once and come back to bite him. So one goal game, you got to be smart. They have plenty of time left. Riley Smith got a chance at his pocket pick, waited too long. Transel can't get there. And here's Pasternak. He'll look around and bury it into the open cage. 5-2 Bruins. Pasta's got a pair. McAvoy tries the wrong foot, Lankin, and Pasternak finds Bergeron. Pasternak across the zone. McAvoy down past the hash marks to Pasternak. Thread the needle and a one-timer and the Bruins lead 3-2 on back-to-back -back power play goals. I mean, it's a great play to transfer the puck from one side of the ice to the other right there in the back end. That's Pasternak. McAvoy down deep. We talk about how interchangeable this fivesome can be when you start moving the puck around on the power play, but the one-timer, that's a hard pass. Puck bounces across, Pasternak pops it! What a reversal of form! The Bruins score the go-ahead goal with 17 seconds to go. Now it's a pretty good face-off win by Carver, but Taylor Hall steps inside and he's able to get that puck, and even though he kind of trips up a little bit, he stays with it. And the Bruins get a good bounce. They rotate back to the front of the net. It gets by Bergeron. It gets by Murphy. But there's Pasternak. But he's able to just chip it up all over the leg and give the Bruins a 4-3 lead. Brandon Hagel chases Lindholm. Lindholm fends off the check. Paula to Pasternak. Scores! <laughs> Starts 200 feet away. And it's Lindholm again, Jack, that puts this play in motion, and it's an excellent pass from Eric Hall. You can't get beat on the indirect to the outside, but this is where it is. Win your puck battles, make that first outlet pass. Lindholm checks both boxes. And then Hall with a great pass to Pasternak, able to pick it up and stride around a very good defenseman in Ryan McDonough. And this is a very basic move. All around for Clifton. Pasternak twirls the backhand forehand and scores! Magical! Talk about making something out of nothing! Pasternak, what ledger to make! And some suspect play down around the goal line in their own zone. Pasternak to Hall, and he spins off his man. And Pasternak thought he might be able to get to that puck initially, maybe pull it to his back end. When that doesn't materialize, he doesn't go away. He just stays with it, chips it right in the direction of Vasilevsky, and that puck had eyes. The overhead. Lindholm guns it to Hall, who has two assists tonight. Past the dead wood. Off Sorelli's skate, Hall keeps it in the attacking zone. Hall, Pasternak, hat trick. The Bruins lead with 4-10 to go. So many guys to give credit for on this goal, and not just the goal scorer, David Pasternak. You could start with Hampus Lindholm.
keeping plays alive in the offensive zone. You could talk about Eric Hall making a nice play. He's trying to back check through the middle of the ice, able to keep the puck in up by the offensive blue line. You could talk about Taylor Hall and his effort the entire shift. He's in front of the net looking for the redirect on the play by Hall. And, of course, David Pasternak, the gifted goal scorer, going to finish it off. Bodies in motion. Tampa thinking they got the puck. They're thinking offense. Now you're in trouble. All you got is Chernick back by his net trying to help protect with Vasilevsky. Now you got to deal with both Hall and Pasternak. Parisi jamming against Grizzly. Grizzly wins the puck battle. Hall paddles it off the corner boards. Aho. Confronted by Hall on one side, Hall on the other, and Pasternak scores! The Bruins have scored four goals in 22 minutes and 13 seconds than they had in previous two games. By Taylor Hall, put the puck down deep. We just talked about the thrust, pursuit, pursuit, pursuit. And the Bruins do that as well when they make the line change. Hall is in there, Pasenak's in there. Hall. Charlie McAvoy. Pasenak leaves a dent in the post. McAvoy to Bergeron. Pasenak, Hall. Pasternak gets the goal. The importance of winning a faceoff to stop the power play and have that shot mentality. Pasternak drifts out to the top of the circle, right on the arc, rips one off the crossbar. They use the bumper to set up Bergeron. Bergeron again sets up Pasternak for the one-timer, but he opts to fake it. He's looking for Taylor Hall on that weak side. On the back end, redirect, but it gets deflected by Toronto of Hall. Nobody with him. Lindholm got in the way and took it back. Right out in front of his own net. 40 seconds to go in the period. A little more open ice each way now. Here's McAvoy. Out in front. Pasternak scores. Welcome back, David Pasternak. Bobbled a really nice pass from Taylor Holt. This is Hampus Lindholm. He's back in the lineup. He changes the way the Bruins exit the zone. Marshan, back of boys. Pasternak on the tail end of this sweet dish from Charlie McAvoy. He's never going to miss that one. That's 39 for David Pasternak. Pasternak tape to tape to Hall. Marshan to Pasternak. Feed from Hall. That's the way you end a power play drought. Yeah, they made it look easy. This is dangerous to be an offside right there in that pullback by Marshawn, but it stayed in the blue paint. Taylor Hall with a perfect pass after Marshawn lays it back in into a spot under the stick. And I mean, that's just classic pass and a heartbeat pretty low in that situation. Pulls out of the box, conventional five on four, Pasternak, paddle down, Kochek off, left in back of the goal, Coyle to the outside. Trading places with Brad Marchand. Saucer pass for Pasternak, his shot, scores! David Pasternak, power play goal, Boston by two. Finally cashes in on the five on four. Carolina, three defensemen on the ice after Coyle left. Marshawn to Pasternak. He scores! They have come back twice and now lead by two. Put this puck right back directly behind him on a second end. Pasenak underneath goes low on the bottom off of the circle. He gets in the blind spot of Shea. Marshawn comes around. It's almost like a wagon wheel play. 30 seconds left. Pasenak wheels it middle. 
Shea's stick explodes. Marshawn back to Hall. The McAvoy. Pasternak scores. 20 seconds to go. Gonna get it to 3-2. Good keeping along the wall. They get the benefit of a broken blade of a stick right there to get more possession. They get a puck to the net on a one-timer. And the rebound finds Bosnock, who buries it. I immediately looked at the clock, Jack, and it looked like two seconds ran off before they stopped it. I think they want to take a look at that because every second counted. Now at 3-2, we'll see where this puck enters the net.